necessity of hope. Some days, it is hope and hope alone that gets me out of bed. Principal suggested that I uh, be part of the Bluegrass Writing Project, and when she said that it was for four weeks in the summer, all day, every day, and uh, a little bit of homework, I panicked and thought right away I couldn't do it. And it took me, it's taken me seven years to get up enough nerve to do it, and it was the greatest thing I ever did. Hope is me putting one foot in front of the other. Left, right, left, right. At times, it moves me forward. At times, it keeps me still. And sometimes, hope is everything it takes just to stand. We enter and exit the world on hope. My favorite part about it is the, um, our writing group at the end of the day. We get together with about four people and sit for about an hour and go over a piece that we're going to publish on Friday. We get a lot of feedback. It's very worthwhile. I've played around with writing groups in the classroom where kids kind of peer conference with each other. And it hasn't been really that successful. But have now participated in a writing group, I think that I will be able to um, model that better and I think that will be more successful. It is the air filling my lungs after the quiet, quiet breath from breathing. It is the ellipses at the end of a sentence that says, does she wait? There is something more to come. Hope is what's standing just beyond the mist. Hope is maybe. It is just enough. Hope is the faintest possibility of light peeking through the darkness. It is the only reason to exist. I would trade my life for hope.